So today, I'm transiting to the Lund Airport here in Denmark. And I took the opportunity to move my cameras around to show us some parts of Bilund Airport here in Denmark. Now, as you can see, Bilund Airport is a, a relatively smaller airport compared to those ones in Aarhus and Copenhagen and uh, the bigger cities here in Denmark. And actually, this is the first time I'm traveling through this airport. And um, it was a fun to see. Uh, different parts of uh, Denmark as well because um, as you may know I do usually move through um, some bigger places and this queue is um, all of us moving through immigration elsewhere at a bigger airport you would have seen a lot of um, counters but these are only two counters one for those people with EU, um, Switzerland, and Norway, and all those people within the European Economic Area, you know, those with those citizenship on the left queue, and the right side is for any other passport. If you do not hold any of those passports, uh, you join the right queue. So these are only two counters. And um, yeah, so I had to move through this particular side before going to the baggage area so let's see i'm going to show you the baggage area as well because this uh, took a pretty um quite some time let me see and then this will happen so i'm going to show you the baggage area and then also show you uh, the departure side where i had to because i had to check out i see if i'm coming into denmark before going through to the departure side to my destination. So let's see how that one went. Yeah, so all too soon, I'm done with immigration and I'm trying to move out of um this area this whole area myself and this lady we, we almost got missing and uh, here i am i'm getting out of this door uh, to move to where <laughs> the baggage is uh, i wasn't carrying any um hold luggage <clears throat> but there are a few people who had their luggages held here you can see the place looks almost empty because like i said it's a relatively smaller airport not too many flights uh, come into Denmark through the side. But, well, there were a few people coming through as well, including myself. And this is the baggage waiting area. I moved across to other places over here uh, before I exited the airport. Um, when I stepped out, I had to take a few... Um, shots at the environment, the side of the airport as well. So just so uh, my followers can see other parts of the world or other parts of uh, this airport, uh, because we are used to the bigger airports, like I said, but now, hey, there are other places that you must see as well. This is still the baggage waiting area. Um, and so um as you enjoyed this one i'm gonna move you straight to the outside and then i'll tell you something about it as well
so I've gotten out of the baggage waiting area and I'm going out of the airport so this is the arrival point to uh, see a few people probably waiting for friends and loved ones and I'm moving outside the airport I mistakenly got to this door and it wasn't opening uh, until I found the right door here mm -hmm. this is the right door <laughs> so let me step out and see okay Voila, I'm, I'm outside. So this is the outside environment of the airport, Billund Airport. And um, just moved my camera around a little for all of us to see. This, what we are facing is the car park at the airport. And at a point I had to zoom my camera to, to show something. I think there's a, a certain kind of uh, sports um, event that is upcoming in this country so there's the advertisement on the on the wall at the car park and this is it says so we welcome the world to best something come on <laughs> i try to read it but okay hopefully i can read it for you we welcome the world's best riders in herning okay so somewhere in august there is this city called Herning right here in Denmark and then there will be a sports event going on here so I moved around and tried to go to the departure hall of this airport because of course I was transiting and so I was uh, uh, I was supposed to locate the departure hall before I go on my journey and here I'm moving back to the departure hall of this airport. Let's see how that place looks like. See my big head through the mirror and uh, going through this door to the departure hall of Bilund Airport. Here I am. Uh, unlike the arrival side where there seemed to be little traffic there, over here at the departure side you can see 
some kind of business going on here and there. You can see quite a number of people uh, waiting to be checked in. And amazingly, this uh, Kiwit Airport um, has loads of self-checking systems. Mm. So a bit of um, restaurants, a few ones of them here. You can see people sitting down there to enjoy themselves. And I'll come back to the self-service machines because that was really, really much of a surprise. These are the self-service machines here. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry, and um, they had, I think, two or three counters for club members and people who had already registered even to, to drop their packages because over here at this airport, mostly, as a passenger, you will have to drop your baggage yourself. And this is um, what you, you see uh, regularly right here at this airport. And I was amazed to see that uh, even the bigger airports had to hire human hands to um, do checking, do baggage drop off and stuff like that. This airport is a really, really beautiful place. Uh, Billund Airport in Denmark. And I moved my cameras across, like I said, a lot of people sitting around, standing around, waiting for this is an um, uh, eating area. Also, a few cafes and restaurants around there. And that's what I spotted. These are self-service machines right here. Mm. And I'll take you across to the other side of the departure hall. And this is building the airport in Denmark. As I move my cameras, at least this was the final point I moved before boarding my plane mm, to, to, to my destination. And so uh, I'm gonna have you to enjoy the shots and the videos. From here, I moved across to, to 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 the security side where they checked my hand luggage to see everything was fine. Before I climbed to the duty free area, then to the boarding gates. All of those I have on shot, and so you don't want to miss any part of this capture. You don't want to miss any part of this uh, video. Please enjoy. And if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure you share for others to enjoy it as well. You have a very, 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 very good one. Ciao, ciao.
Call for James Madison, traveling to Lufthansa 839 to Frankfurt. Please hold your search card. Then, uh, 